It's time. Mm -hmm. Something really special is about to happen. Something we've been waiting for for a while. What is it? Uh, he's going to Philly to buy our new home. What is so cool about what's happening? Just that we're going to have our own house. Our own home for the first time. This is going to be cool. Little bud, I'm going to miss you for about eight days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm taking care of some big time adulting and we'll take you on the ride. We are gassed up. We are proteined up with not just the protein bars, but the stuff that I will only eat inside the car if Little Bunny and Anana Mommy are not inside it. Yes, jerky. It drives them crazy, but it's such good energy food when driving. So I'm not gonna put them through that when I'm with them, but if it's just me, oh yeah, I'm enjoying it. Let's hit the road. The ride around Chicago and down the turnpike is not going to be the most scenic. I'll tell you that up front because, well, you don't go through big cities. You go around Chicago, you go past where you would find a little bit of distance to Detroit, your bit distance from Cleveland. We will be making a stop in Pittsburgh, hopefully for a very cool surprise to come. But this is about speed. This is about getting someplace fast and not having to go through big cities to get there. So if you're looking for scenery on the drive, uh, from Milwaukee to Philadelphia, you're not going to get much. It's going to be a lot of beautiful green trees and flat farmland, which is fantastic in itself because that's where we get our food. That's where we get our nourishment every day, and it's a wonderful thing to be able to have that. It's just not the prettiest scenery if you're trying to drive. I said there was not going to be much scenery on the drive. I was incredibly wrong. Yeah, there's no way that I was going to be filming the arrival here in Philly at the hotel because I was just dead. You didn't want to see me look like that. So it's a beautiful Sunday morning, but a hot one. Heading to Mass here in suburban Philly. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. We've got a few things on the schedule that still are waiting for what things are going to look like. We've got a couple of utilities to take care of, and uh, then we'll see what the rest of the day brings. for me today is to make sure that we have Wi-Fi in the house that uh, but we immediately not just for security details within our security system but the capability to do my work for KYW News Radio immediately after uh, closing otherwise I'm gonna have to find some sort of a uh, Starbucks or something to be able to work for the evening or go into the office if I really need to Complications of moving. We just came back to Verizon Wireless five hours after we first came here because we were unable to set up the Wi-Fi setup in the house because of 
some issues of miscommunication and misinformation from the people that I originally talked with about the Wi-Fi service here in Philadelphia, but they're giving us a really good plan B that we're going to use to make work for the week so that I can work this week from home. Since there's nothing we can do about the Wi-Fi situation for now, let's enjoy cheesesteak. Time Maryland style fries. Serious spice to it, serious kick. It's good. It's good, especially if you like heat. I like a little bit of heat, not as much as what's here, but it's still super tasty. Now let's do the real stuff. The cheesesteak. The Tony Luke's cheesesteak. Provolone wood just the way I like it. Such good balance. The tang of the provolone, I love that instead of the cheese whiz. I mean, I don't mind cheese whiz, but I'm, I grew up with provolone, so amazing. And the onions are cooked to perfection, and the steak, the ribeye steak, like butter. So good. Final review, this tasted and reminded me of the taste of my mom's pasta and meatballs, yet without any tomato as part of it. Just the ridiculous flavor that came out of it. Just amazing, just amazing. It's Monday morning. It's the day. It's the day we buy this. Had a semi-sleepless night. So much worry, anxiety, so many different things running through my head of what could happen. But that's where faith and trust, that things are going to go the way they should with this place, with this purchase, and with what this place is going to turn into for our family, the good that's going to happen here. God blessing us with an incredible gift through hard work and sweat. This is going to be a special place. Remember how I said yesterday we were about to buy a house? Well, we are. It just didn't happen yesterday. We had a bit of a snafu when it came to paperwork issues, and they had to delay the sale until Wednesday. So, right now I'm working in downtown Philly, staying at a hotel for a couple of extra days. We're getting through it okay, and tomorrow we should finally have the keys to the house. It's gonna be good. filled with tattoo parlors, art shops, and so much else in the eastern part of South Philly, just south of Center City. Of course, a lot of cars honking horns too. Legendary Jim's Steaks here in Philadelphia. We're going to continue our sort of cheesesteak tour, if you will, while I'm here alone in Philly this week. Of course, the kind of meal you ought to have 12 hours before we close on a house. This one is just oozing with just as I ordered the double whiz wit 
and the juices are flowing so much, they're just coming right out. We'll just do one bite. <laughs> it's gonna make a mess. <laughs> I see why cheesesteak lovers love it with whiz because it just adds to the gooiness. It matches the juices of the steak and you can taste it so strongly on this. Really, really good. I think I still prefer provolone just because it's what I love. It's what I grew up with, but this is outstanding and Jim's is world class good. I'm also going for these chunky onions here. Really large, not as diced. I'm a fan of it. If you don't like it, that's your thing. That's cool. Tonight, we head to bed knowing that tomorrow morning is take two of the opportunity to live in Philadelphia and have a home here in Philly.